In the last video, I introduced you to Hoppy Beaver, which is a game we will be building in the next few tutorials. In this video, we will be working on adding the playable character to the game. Let's start by making our character, the Hopping Beaver. We'll use object-oriented design discussed in this tutorial to describe our beaver character. I also include this link in the description below. When creating a game character, we should think about what properties and behaviors it should have. For example, our beaver should keep track of her X and Y positions and how many sticks she has collected. She also needs two behaviors, hopping, which makes her jump up a little bit, and falling, which makes her fall down a bit. Here's what that could look like as an object. I'll first define a new constructor called beaver and add in some X and Y arguments for right now. That's because the this.x is equal to x and this.y is equal to y. We'll be setting those when we call the function later. And now I'm going to add an image. This is going to be the default image of the beaver when she's not moving. Hopper happy. There we go. Excuse the weird scrolling there. That just has to do with the editor and image picking. I can't actually prevent that right now. So this.sticks is going to be equal to zero. That's the counter, which we'll update when we pick up sticks. Now I'm going to add a draw method. So beaver.prototype.draw equals function. I'm going to draw the beaver with this.image, setting its position to this.x, this.y, and making it 40 wide and 40 tall. There we go. Now I'm going to add another method called hop. This is the function that makes the beaver hop up. Now when we do when we actually make the beaver jump up, we want to change the image to another image. This is going to be the hopper jumping, which is again, there's the scrolling. This is uh, the image when the hopper is jumping. So now we're going to move the, the position of the beaver up. So I'm going to subtract 5 when we move up. So there we go. Now I'm going to add the falling method, beaver.prototype.fall. We'll call this function whenever the beaver is not jumping. We want her to move back down. So I'm going to set the this.image back to the default image of a static beaver who is just standing. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to move the position of the beaver, the Y position, back down as if she's falling. Okay, there we go. I'm going to give me a bit more space. Now I'm going to set a new instance of beaver equal to a lowercase beaver equals new beaver, set the x and y of 10 and 300, and then I'm going to draw this beaver. And there she is. This program doesn't do a very good job at checking the different behaviors though, because it's not animated yet. So we can only see her in one state of being. Let's add a draw function so that we can tell the, be the beaver to do different things depending on user interaction. For this game, we want the beaver to hop whenever the user is pressing the up key. That can be implemented pretty simply. So in the draw function, I want to, of course, draw a background that's white every frame. And I'm going to check if the user is clicking a key or typing a key, holding a key down, if key is pressed. And then we need to check the key code, which code the user is holding down. So if the key code equals up, we want to move the hopper up. So I'm going to go uh, I'm going to call beaver.hop here. There we go. And you can of course always change key code to something else like 0, which would be the space bar or left, right, down. Those are the most common ones. If you want to know more, you can check out the documentation below any Khan Academy program. So we, uh, we make the beaver hop, but if we're not hitting the up key, we want the beaver to fall down, so I'm going to call the fall function there. There we go. 
and then I'm going to actually draw the beaver in the draw function and remove the previous one. Now I can restart. That's pretty effective code, but when we ran it, we have to continuously press our up key to keep the beaver from hopping off the face of the canvas forever, never to return. We can constrain the y values to some reasonable value to keep this beaver on the screen. That's common in games, to keep characters inside the game world. We can do that by using constrain in the draw function, passing it an appropriate minimum and maximum value right here. So this dot y equals constrain. We're going to constrain this dot y. And we do not want this dot y to be less than 0, but we don't want it any more than height minus 50. And since a canvas's default height is 400 pixels, this height minus 50 is equal to 350. And as you can see here, the hopper isn't actually falling off the screen anymore because she is limited to 350. So it actually works really nice. We have the up key moving her up and other, and if it's not being held down, she falls and is constrained. So it works great, looks amazing. In the next video, we'll be adding the environment, which includes a background and sticks. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.